They not like us. 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 Job. So it may look like there was nothing on that carpet, that area rug, and this is empty. Sorry, terrible filming. Alright y'all, so today's like super easy. I'm just barely getting back to recording. I uh man, I don't feel, I don't think I recorded in like it feel like about a week and a half easily. Or if I did it was something small, I think. But I know I haven't been posting anything. Um just wanted a break. I've been getting kinda in a in a 
you know, like I don't want to record, like, so I just needed a break. Get into a customer's house, I'm just like, eh, you know, I, I start forcing myself to record. And I'm just trying to uh, take a little break. Because, to be honest, I was supposed to take a break back in January, and I didn't even take one. So, but anyway, that one is a repeat. We already cleaned for them three times. I think they called us out four times or something. Uh, but one time we were in... Maybe she did call us back later. I don't remember, but I know last year we were in Vegas and she called, so I sent it over to one of my uh, Facebook friends that are, you know, they have a carpet cleaning business. And I, I think that they just didn't go, you know, through with it. But. I don't remember, but I remember we did it last year. Maybe, maybe she ended up just waiting and called us later. But, but basically, what they have is a, a it's a wool area rug, and it has a, that a, like twine that that a Cecil rug that's like a intertwined in it, and you can't really get that stuff wet, but. What happened is she did it herself at first. This was like two years ago or something. Maybe three. Yeah, maybe three years ago. So the cat vomits. It seems like annually. Like the cat's like, hey, it's time to get this carpet clean. <clears throat> so the cat will, will throw up on the rug. And basically they tried to clean it themselves and left like the the carpet kind of dark where you know where they tried to clean so she called us and I was just kind of kind of hesitant kind of because of you know the type of you know rug it was but I was just like man whatever so I did ask uh, a colleague in the industry and I He was just kind of like, be careful. And I was just like, you know what? F it, man. It's already, they already did what they had to do. I'm just going to try it. But, so my thing is this. If you're going to damage something, this is what I told him, right? So I said, you know, there's a possibility that the the light brown specks, which would be the, the, the Cecil part, or something. I forget how you call it. Cecil? I said Cecil. That's somebody's name. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> That's an old, old black dude from the from the fifties. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So that it could turn like very dark brown, kind of like. So I was like, if you're gonna damage it, we might as well make all the whole thing. You know, we're gonna wet the whole thing for sure, but you know, we want to make it look even. You know, throughout. So they were fine with that. But I just had to let them know that. Because if not, you know. And then they're like, oh, it's darker than, well, we kind of went over it. But, yeah, so basically, they put a whole bunch of stuff in it the first time. Like baking soda, all this other stuff. And they were trying to get it out, but they couldn't get it out. And they just bought it that, like, a month prior to that. So... But as of now, this cat been vomiting on it on the regular, like it's nothing. <laughs> like annually, uh, you know, like clockwork. But, um, so yeah, so we, we did it the first time. They were, you know, very impressed. It didn't really change the color, or at least not that we know of, because I'm pretty much wetting the entire thing and also drying it doing a lot of dry strokes and they uh, called us out the next year and 
because it keeps happening, but right now he's just basically like the husband. I'm usually dealing with the wife, and the husband's like, man, the, the cleaning of this rug costs more than the rug now. Like, it's starting not to make sense. So, they're, they're probably going to be the type of uh, customer that, you know, they probably will just try to find a different solution. Like, they got bread. But I can kind of tell the, the way, you know, the, the, the way he's thinking about it. It's like, let's just get a cheap rug, throw it in the wash. Because that's what he was saying. We want those ruggable rugs. And I was like, all right, well, that's fine. But, you know, those things aren't indestructible. I mean, you know, they're not, like, bulletproof. You may throw that thing in the wash and might not be able to, you know, get it clean. But... It's the same thing like with your your clothes, because sometimes you throw them in the, in the wash, you wait too long, and then it just doesn't come clean. But that or, you know, your, your washing machine is not that big. There's a few things to it, but no, yeah, I'm all for it. But you, know, you got to take that money into consideration, too. Like... far as like what things cost uh, what it costs to get it done right those types of things if you feel what I'm saying but anyway we're about to head out to another job which this one is just like a little entryway and they have a cat that peed on the carpet and the guy, he's tried to do some things on it, but he said he kind of, he thinks he made it worse as far as the smell or the, but, so yeah, we're going to do that. And then we had some guy that called uh, earlier in the week, I want to say Wednesday, and he's like, hey, uh, my name's Ken, I'm with so-and-so Carpet Care or whatever, and uh, I'm in Sunnyvale and I'm retiring after 29 years. And I want to see if you're interested in getting getting more customers. They're like, if you want to just take over, you know, my uh, my customers. And I'm like, okay, let's see what we're talking. And basically, what 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 they're doing is they're trying to sell off their their customer list. And I was really about to see what he was talking about, but I was just like, you know what? Because we set it up for today. After my after my job today, and I was just like, you know what? I didn't send that to somebody. I just sent them a text like, hey man, let's let's handle that with somebody that's new in the industry. That way, you know, that way they can have some more customers. Because to be honest, like this dude, like I've said before, why would you sell your business? You can hire somebody, keep that money coming in. And if you get them to a right point to where they can eventually kind of take over the business, then that's the route you should go if you don't have anybody to take it over. But to be honest, like, your business should be held, handed down through the family, especially if it's something that's already making money, like, so basically, I think what he's doing, well, I mean, I don't think I know. He probably doesn't have any anything built up, possibly. I'm not going to say all that, but you know, he's about to retire. He probably had a, uh, some 401k or put some money aside, but he's, he's trying to sell his business, basically, which I know anyway, but it's probably not going to be cheap. He's probably, it has to be, yeah, probably easily 150000 I bet. So, which doesn't make sense to me because you'll have to be able to double that in a year, basically, in my opinion. Like, his business will have to make some, some bread bread. 
and I'm gonna have to make that money back. But what I did was, he was talking all this stuff. Oh man, I see you're, you know, I'm looking at your website, you're IICRC certified, you you have uh, your picture on your, on your website, your website looks good, it looks like you've been in business for a while. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's us. But when we got off the phone, I was like, huh. Let me let me hit up uh, my friend Daniel, who also has a uh, carpet cleaning company in Sunnyvale. Let me see if he got a call. So I hit him up, and he was like, "Yep." He called me like 15 minutes ago, and I told him I don't have the capital for that. <laughs> and he said he got that was the end of that. So I was like, "No, I'm gonna see what's up with him. Like, I really want to see what this dude talking about." But. I just don't want to waste time, waste his time and, and mine. Um, so I just said, forget it, man. I was going to do it for the experience, just to see kind of what they're talking. But I've seen, I've seen people in the in the, the Facebook groups try to sell their business. They they always talking over a hundred thousand. So it's all about what what's it to you? Because at the end of the day, to be honest, like you're gonna be in a lose lose situation if you can't get that bread. So if we just leave him alone, he'll probably sell that bad boy for cheap. <laughs> That's fucked up, but it is what it is. Let's get to this next one. It's D West for life, y'all. All right, y'all, so it's just a small area, just a little entry, and it's hard to see it, but he might have some on the area rug. It's either that or vomit, I can't really tell, but there's a, definitely a strong smell in there. Like It has a strong odor. It's uh, cat urine. My van, man, it's messy. Um, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll we'll treat it, scrub it, and then subfloor extract. It's D West for life, y'all.
They not like us. 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 Whoa.
also my uh, so my uh, <laughs> van is just at a quarter tank and usually I'll be fine just parking right here but earlier I was parked here you know in the street and because it was so tilted sideways I mean it's hard to see the difference but that difference right there actually made it so it wasn't sucking up gas because the tap is on this side so when it shifts everything to the other side good luck Chuck so I just made it because earlier when I was spraying it turned off so I had to just do this real quick and then uh you know still give people a good amount of walkway space you know I only took up just a little bit put my flashers out <laughs> here's where they'll get you in California kind of so there's a um, fire hydrant here but the sidewalk you know the curb is not red but it's red right there like at a, a bus stop which makes no sense because really you should be able to just post up uh, I mean post up you should be able to have a a, a red curb at any of these but since it's not it's not red I can still park there but you know what I'm saying they could they could mess with you if, if there, this is bull bull stuff and say there was a fire if uh y'all ever wonder how hot my stuff get <laughs> it'd be melting the rubber um so but yeah if there was ever a fire that's probably when they'll when they'll act up but anyway let me put this away and then i'll come back to y'all it's d west for life y'all